Weiger? Weiger? Okay. Uger? 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 Okay. Uger? Uger? How about you? How do you Oger? Oger? Yeah. Oger? Okay. Uger? Okay. What about you? Igor. Igor. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I promised to you, the Oiger social experiment is here today. We're gonna go up to strangers and ask them to pronounce. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're gonna ask them to pronounce this word right here. Alright? If they can pronounce this word right here, they're going to win an iPhone. Alright? So we're gonna go up to strangers and the goal behind this entire social experiment is to educate people about the Uyghur situation happening in the world and what China is doing to the Muslims. But inshallah, we're gonna find out and have some fun with some people too. And remember, if this video gets in 12 hours, 10,000 views or in 24 hours 10,000 likes I'm gonna shave I'm not gonna shave my beard now I'm not gonna do that I'm going to <laughs> my student by the way is the one who's helping me record this video tell me a shout out to her um, I'm going to dye my beard red I'm gonna dye my beard red with some hina all right we're gonna make that happen excuse me guys would you like a chance to win a free iPhone excuse me ma'am would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? I'm making a YouTube video giving away a free iPhone. I like the shirt, Toronto Raptors, let's go. Listen bro, I know you're on duty. Would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? Guys, would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? Excuse me, would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? Hey guys, I'm doing a giveaway for an iPhone. Would you guys like to participate? It's a free iPhone giveaway for my YouTube channel. Most YouTube videos with social experiments and giveaways are all staged. They go up to the person first without the camera, they talk to them, and then they get them done. This is like real life time here that you're seeing. Excuse me, ladies, really quick. Would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? I'm making a YouTube video giving it away. Excuse me. Ladies, would you like a chance to win a free iPhone? I'm making a YouTube video if you would like to. I think we should just go. Let's just go on the T-Mobile. Let's just go on the T-Mobile. What are you going to say? No? Excuse me. Hi, really quick guys. I'm a T-Mobile customer over here as well too. Um, but I'm right now making a YouTube video giving away an iPhone. I know you probably don't need it. But would you like to try it and play? For a free iPhone? Look, you can participate too. You can, yeah? Would you, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on. Okay, here's how we go. Here's a brand new iPhone that I'm gonna give it to you guys to any of you. So basically, I'm a YouTuber okay. and I'm giving everyone a chance to win an iPhone if they can pronounce this word. Here's how it works, here's the rules. I'm gonna show you one word, okay? One word. You have one chance to say its pronunciation. I'm gonna show you a word. If you can pronounce it correctly, the iPhone is yours, or if you want an AirPods, I'll get you AirPods. I believe you can. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to be American for this. Okay, where are you visiting from? Brazil. We're from Brazil. Brazil? Brazil? What part? São Paulo? Sierra. I'm from Rio. Rio, okay. I thought you guys were Paulistas. <laughs> no, no, okay. No, okay, look. Really simple. A word. Okay? Are you ready? First of all, what's your name? Sarai. All right, what's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian, all right. Are we hoping they win? We're hoping they win. All right, guys, okay? So here is the word. Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Okay? Here's the word. Don't say it yet. Come over here. You can play too. This is the word. Okay? Here's the word. Don't say it yet. Here's the word. Don't say it yet. Think about how you want to say it. And give once you're ready for that one pronunciation, tell me. Don't say it yet. The word is this one right here, okay? Okay, you have one chance. Here is the word. Don't say it yet. Take a look at it. Don't say it yet. Tell me when you're ready to make your guess. Here is the word. Come on in, sweetheart. Here's the word. Okay? You, you don't have to pronounce it immediately. Just take a look at it first. Okay? That's the word. Okay? Do you think you know how to say it? Do you think, how do you pronounce this word? <laughs> Give it a try. You are? I don't know. Okay. How do you think you pronounce it? Uger. Okay? How do you think you pronounce it? Do you have a guess? Yeah, but I'm probably wrong. It doesn't matter. It's okay to be wrong. Uger. Uger, okay. we'll give you we'll give you a chance first. She was more confident, right? So I'll save her for the end. Let's give you a chance first. How do you think you say it? Uger. How do you say? Um, Uger. Uger. So you said Uger. You said Uger. Uger. Weiger. Weiger. Uger. 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 Okay. Uger. Uger. How about you? How do you? Oger. Oger. Yeah. Oger. Okay. Uger. Okay. What about you? Igor. Igor. Okay, what about you? Yuger. Yuger. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Yuger. 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 Okay. 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 Oiger. Oiger, exactly. Unfortunately, guys, that's not the way you pronounce it. The word is called Oiger. Fortunately, that is not the correct job. Listen, I think you guys did a great job, though, okay? The way we pronounce this word is called Oiger. Oiger. 
Oiger. You were close. I think you were close. It's Oiger, okay? Four seed is not the correct word, okay? Uger is not the correct. It's very mistaken, though. A lot of people think that. It's actually pronounced Oiger. Say it with me. Oiger. 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 I would have got an iPhone. You would have got an iPhone. Fortunately, that's not how you say it. No problem. No problem. This. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. You've never heard of it. That's fine, right? I'm actually a school teacher by profession and a YouTuber. That's one of my students. Oh, hi. So, so basically, basically, my job is to educate people. That's what my channel is about. So I brought my student along with this as well. The way you pronounce this word, word is called Oiger. 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 Okay. Oiger. Do you know what Oiger is? I have no idea. Very good. Good question that you asked. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, do you know what Oiger or what that word means? That's what did you say? Is it a country? Is it a country? What do you guys think? No. That's actually a very good guess. Uyghur is a type of people that descend from Turkey. They're in China right now and they're in concentration camps. And these people, over 3 million Uyghur Muslims in China, are in concentration camps. Meaning they're being held beyond their will, without their, without their consent, and they're being forced to leave the religion. Oh my, that's so sad. 3 million Muslims are in concentration camps right now, being forced to change their religion, forced to do everything that they don't want to do, and the Chinese government is destroying all the mosques. Have you heard about this? There are basically 3 million Muslims in concentration camps in China. Just like the Holocaust. Heard of like that, yeah. You heard of something like this. Not allowing them to fast. Women are being pulled away from their husbands. And then soldiers are like invading their homes. And just doing, yeah, they're pulling their children away from them. So they're forcing them to eat pork, drink alcohol. Not allowing them to pray. If there's any mosques, they're breaking them down. Parents are losing their children, they're stealing them away. Women who are married are being pulled away from their husbands and marrying the, 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 the soldiers. Soldiers are basically living in their homes and they're basically committing a genocide against them and no one's saying anything. China has put them in concentration camps. Do you know what a concentration camp is? Yeah, it's like... Oh yeah, I've heard it on Instagram. Have you? What have you heard? Uh, it's about like, it's about, um, well I saw on Instagram how they're putting Muslim people in concentration camps. Yeah. And forcing them to eat like, uh, like, well they can't eat like beer. Uh, pork, yeah, and more stuff that Muslim can't eat. Cause I have a friend that's Albanian, so he's Muslim, and I have a friend that's Arabic. Yeah. And then I shed, and I showed them a video about what they do, and then I started posting it on my story about how that's messed up. They can't do it. They're forcing them to disobey their own religion. That's amazing. Did you hear about this before? Yeah, cause I have an Arabic friend too. You do. That's wonderful. That's so amazing. Tell me to come over. Here. You guys are really, really awesome. Okay. One thing is for sure that if we have more children like you. The world is gonna be a better place because you're socially aware about what's happening in the world. You know, the thing is that like, you know, obviously like a lot of like non-Muslims don't know about this, like regular people don't know about this, but a lot of Muslims don't know about this eager, either, not eager. <laughs> Um, and it's our responsibility to educate ourselves. We can't just be sitting on TikTok all day and just becoming zombies and you know just watching the NBA playoffs. There's real things happening in the world and it's our responsibility to really take care of these things. But how does it make you feel knowing that people are doing this to other people across the world? Really bad because if it's their own religion, they should have they shouldn't force them to do something that they can't do. Agreed, agreed. What about you? Uh, it's terrifying. It's disturbing. It is. Yeah. Very disturbing. What about you? <laughs> I feel terrible because... Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think sometimes I think that my life is so bad, but yeah. other people are this bad. Is, this is the real stuff. I mean, it, I don't put it past anyone. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. they hide stuff all the time, so... True. Um, I feel bad though, bro. Yeah? You kind of just hope it out. Definitely, you definitely. I agree. I think it's completely wrong and scary. It is scary, isn't it? Listen, but the and more... There's no coverage about it. There's no coverage. no coverage about it. And it's a real thing. And I encourage you to look it up. That's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it, right? Yeah. And the media is not even talking about it. That's a fact. That's a fact, right? That's because fact. that's that's the plot. They don't want us to talk about these things, bro. They want us to keep us asleep. They want us to stay just watching the NBA playoffs. And they knew that. That's why they canceled the games. LeBron is not having that. He's not like, yo, my black people are not going to be murdered while you watch me and earn money from me while my people are dying. You feel me? So he's just like, no, I'm not going to keep you out of sleep anymore. That's why they're upset. People don't get it. But guess what? The whole world is watching now, aren't they? It sucks. I didn't know. Yeah, what about you? Sad. Sad? Yeah. It's like kind of weird that like people are allowing that to happen. What about you? What do you think? It's just crazy. Yeah, it's just, it's just un, like human. Unhuman, absolutely. Do you know when this has happened before to a different people? Yeah, like Jewish has happened now to Mexicans. Yes, in our own yes. country. 
Absolutely. This isn't new, right? This isn't new. But you don't see this in the, in the news coverage. You get me? Mm-hmm. And this did happen to Jewish people for the Holocaust, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what's happening to 3 million people over here as well. Uh, it's messed up to do something like that. And they're forcing them to do what they, what they can do. They're forcing them to eat stuff. That's not, that's not fair. That's not like, good to do. For sure. Like, they should live their own lives. They should do Definitely. their own things. Addison Ray. Addison Ray. People know who she is. People know who she is. Ma'am, do you know who Addison Ray is? They, you know who Addison Ray is? Yeah. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know, I'm giving it away an iPhone, by the way, if you can pronounce the word, right? Do you know what this is? No. And that's the sad part. The people know who Addison Ray is, but they don't know about the Uyghur people. They don't know about them. And that's what we're trying to do, educate the people. You know about Addison Ray? What has she done to achieve anything? There's three million Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps, yet no one is saying anything. That's not on the news. And that's just showing you that there is an agenda to keep us asleep. The fact that three million Muslims, Uyghur people, humans, forget Muslims, humans could be in concentration camps, but yet still we know about this. That is a problem. That's a huge problem. And that just shows that the media wants to show what it wants to show to you and they don't want you to expose to the real truth. Because if you won't learn about the real truth, you might wake up and this whole fantasy bubble might actually pop. But that's what they don't want from us. This is a sabotage, not against Muslim, Jews, Christians, against humanity. They want us to be asleep. And the more we stay asleep, the more they can violate us. So she's getting paid a lot of money to dance, to your yoga pose and all that sort of stuff, just so she, you all and me included can stay asleep. It's time for us to wake up. Look it up, what's happening over here, because you know, how did the Holocaust happen? People stayed silent. It wasn't that the news press wasn't coming over here, they just chose not to show it. It took years after that for people to be aware about the Holocaust, and you still have some buffoons who are deniers of the Holocaust, you know. We have social media today, and yet people don't know about this. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah, so do look it up yourselves too. I appreciate you, and the world, absolutely, absolutely. And if we have more people such as yourself, believe me, the world will be more educated and a better place, okay? Thank you so much, here you go, here's the word. Thank you. No problem, Lise, take care. Take care, thank you for participating, bye-bye. Appreciate you guys for participating. Ladies, thank you so much. Have a beautiful holiday invocation over here. Okay, take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Now you learn something. It's called Uyghur. Okay. Thank so, you. Pound. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for participating. Get up on your own, bro. The Uyghur people, look them up and see what's happening, bro. Everything I said is on CNN. It's everywhere, but they're not showing you on the media. You know what I mean? Bro, I appreciate you, my man. Appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. So I encourage you to look it up, my man. I appreciate you so much for playing, my man. Much love, okay, bro? Thank you. But just know that there's a lot of things happening to people, and it's our responsibility to share it and spread a good word. Yeah? Makes sense. Thank you guys for participating. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Alhamdulillah, guys. We finished the social experiment. We educated people about who the Uyghur Muslims are, and I'm pretty sure we educated some Muslims who are watching this on who the Uyghur people are. Remember the challenge that I put to you guys? Uh, I, I just want this video and message to spread because a lot of people don't know it's not it's not and i don't want you to like be upset at them like oh these people don't know it's a it's a it's an agenda and a plot for them to not know guys it's not their fault that they don't know it's our fault for not teaching and telling them so i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and benefit from this video if you did enjoy and benefit from this video please make sure you smash this with a huge thumbs up the challenge still is true i will not shave i keep saying shave my beard i will dye my beard red if this video gets 10,000 views within the first 12 hours or 10,000 thumbs up within the first 24 hours, I love you and appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Tell me, you gotta show yourself. You gotta be like, oh, that's me, I'm here. Show yourself. That's you, that's Tell me. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not. <laughs>